how to build a personal brand. You are the most powerful marketing tool at your disposal. If you're starting a business, establishing your thought leadership, or trying to get ahead in your career, it's a great time to start investing in your brand now. In this live stream session, our guest speaker, Mr. Ash, and I will share with you some points as below. Why do you invest in your personal branding? Who is your target audience? And how can you create an outstanding brand? That is some points that we will discuss in our live stream today. Mr. Ash, he is a Versado radio show, podcast, and live media content producer. He, he interviewed over 500 people, including Dr. Oiz, Sony, Sony Television, Fox, Huffington Post, Wall Street Journal, and Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Magazine. He's also featured course author in LinkedIn, learning on becoming an industry expert, and up, an upcoming book with ID Press publishing in June 2021. He prior helped launch the California chapter for Startup America and was listed by the White House as what a top 100 impact entrepreneur. Hello, Mr. Ash. Welcome to the, to the show. Hi, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Can you share with us what is personal branding and why do we need to invest in personal branding, Mr. Ash? So personal brand to me is your unique identity. So just like in science, people talk about how you have everyone has unique DNA right? Our, uh, you and I have a different DNA and everyone in the world has different DNA. I feel your personal brand is your own unique professional DNA. Um, and what I like about a personal brand is that it, it is not a specific skill. So let's say you work in three jobs over 10 years and you might do three different things across those 10, you know, those three jobs that the, your personal brand will still be the same across those three jobs. I say got you, it means that a personal brand is just like your DNA. That is how people recognize who you are, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And how is it important to your career? I think it's very important because it it shows someone if if you do it right, if you do the right so there's two types of personal brand. One is uh, a natural personal brand, which is your true personal brand, and one is just trying to follow the trends. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you wanted to become in let's say you want to become a cryptocurrency influencer. Mm -hmm. If you did it because you're just following the trends, you don't really care if cryptocurrency is successful or not. In fact, if cryptocurrency goes down in the markets one day, then you might lose interest. But let's say you generally believe in the future of cryptocurrency and you want to really be someone to evangelize the benefits of it and why we should all care about, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum and stuff then people will see that naturally in you. And even if the markets tumble or the cryptocurrency might go through issues, you don't care because you believe in it so much. And so that is when a personal brand can help you is that it can show people what you truly care and passionate about. And that's what, frankly, employers and business operators and partners are looking for these day, this day and age. How does it benefit your career in the long term, Mr. Ash? I understand that it benefits to your career right now because it helps to recognize who you are. And in case that you just shift your career to another direction, how does that personal branding help? In I help think it, uh, yeah, no, that's a great question. So mm. let's say you're going for a new kind of job and your personal brand is a way of making you stand out. Let's say mm -hmm. you are equally stacked with someone with education, you have the same work experience, you have the same references, mm -hmm. but if you have a specific personal brand that's advantageous to that industry, then that can make you stand out. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a great example. So I often, I have been asked, I often get asked, uh, I should say I've been I've been approached various times to help build online communities because as you read in my background, I've helped build some communities like the Startup America and other entrepreneur stuff. And oftentimes, I, from a true experience, what's gotten me consulting or job positions is because people see my personal brand as someone who writes about 
building per communities, talking about communities, doing interviews with community leaders. And I feel oftentimes I've gotten opportunities really from doing that versus my actual skill experience. Mm, I see. So you, you can inherit the benefits from your previous personal branding to your future career, right? Very, yes. And and by the way, you don't have to always have the same personal brand, meaning mm. you can change along the way. Like there was a time in my life when I was really gung-ho on mm. entrepreneurship and then I've really built some credibility and wellness. Right now, as of this conversation, I'm really into building community, like why your community needs to be built in order to thrive. And so I'm really spending more time on the personal brand front on that. Mm. How can you make that shift, Ash? I believe you learn from your current experience, mm. and you have to look at life as a. You have to look at life as okay. How can I keep on improving, or mm. as I evolve, my interests might change. So that's how I see it. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Again, as long as you're trying to build a personal brand in an area for the right reasons, you're not just doing it because there's money in it or some trend. You're doing because you generally care about it or you saw an epiphany. Um, I just realized for me, for community building, that everything I've done has always built around audiences, whether it's mm -hmm. online or offline. So I just realized, well, why don't I spend more time on that? And so that's mm -hmm. why I realized that. I think it's very important for you to do some reflection and like um you know uh, evaluation of what you like and what's working um every so often mm -mm, okay F uh, for example that uh, like me if i am about to do something which is re not related to education maybe it is about wellness or meditation how can you how can i introduce my personal brain to the community in case i make that shift to my career which is something to totally different. Well, the first thing that you should, I would consider you do is the best way to develop a, an authority and a personal brand is to feature smart people in that space. Mm -hmm. So if you are not as experienced in wellness, at least to the public, I would feature best practices from a wellness expert. I would do interviews with them. I would do collaboration of videos. I would review products by experts because when you are affiliate yourself with experts mm -hmm. um people can trust you and when people trust you then you can then use that opportunity to, to build a community around whatever interests you mm, don't see. try to don't try to like show the world you're an expert or you have all these skills yet first show other people who have great skills give a little before you try to tell people about who you are be more humble in the beginning process mm, i see so at first that you will be associating yourself with key influencer or key opinion leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So that those people can represent the brain for you. Yep. Mm, I see. So in that case, how can we associate our brain with those bigger brains skillfully that they don't recognize that you are associating with them? Well, look, how did you reach me out? Mm. How did you reach me? I'm asking you a question. Mm -hmm. I, I just found you on LinkedIn. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Um, just send a message. Um, play the number of 10. For every 10 people or 10 pe things you contact, you will. there might be one person that will strike. You got to be persistent. Uh, I see. So you mentioned Dr. Oz, right? I interviewed Dr. Oz. I had the fortune of interviewing him. He's a you know nationally known or globally known medical wellness Mm. doctor influencer understands mm. personal brand as good as anyone it took me months to get a hold of him mm. i reached out to his team didn't hear back reached out to his team didn't hear back so you have to if you really believe in something you got to be persistent mm. okay i got you like be persistent in your goal in order to achieve what you want right yeah you know it doesn't matter what personal brand you want to do or what you whether you want to be a person you want to build a personal brand or you want to you know be an entrepreneur or you want to work in the workforce you can't forget um hard work and persistence mm, yeah that's just principle of life yeah and it doesn't matter what career you are in all right how can we create an outstanding brand what is the first steps that we what are some of the first steps we can do in order to build that uh, ash um 
I would just ask yourself, what do you like to do? Do you like to write? Do you like to create videos? Do you like to do audio? Start to practice and do those things and find out if you can do something consistently every every week or every day or every few days and you enjoy doing it, that's your first mm-hmm. step. Start to like mm-hmm. develop what do you like to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So develop your passion first. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah. Okay. So after we create quite separate resources for people to know who we are. What is the next step to make sure that we can reach out to more people? I would just, I would develop a list up front of your dream list of the kinds of people you want to reach out to and ask them, you know, um, can I, can I help you with an interview or can I write something with you or can I do a review on something you're doing? And be genuine. Just say you want to help them out. Give value mm-hmm. to them first. Mm, I see. Got you. So reach, they reach out to KOL and then with the intention to support them. Yes. Mm, I see. Okay. So how can you build your career? Can you share your own personal story? That How can you build your own brand until you become who you are right now? Well, first off, um always be curious so never settle so um find an find an industry that you like and find ways to highlight what's going good in that industry and then when you do that um that can help you with getting opportunities in that industry so again using wellness if you like wellness a lot um profile the latest wellness tools interview wellness people and then use that experience in like a blog or some type of or linkedin i would use linkedin because they're they're such a huge publishing tool and then use that as a resource when approaching recruiters or job opportunities i think people want to see that you're very interested in the industry overall not just tactically how to do a job i think that's really important Mm, i see so you just share with us a big deal when you look at your career, not just about your job, but also something that you yeah. want to be part of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after we create our own personal brand already, how can we monetize it? Just like what you are doing right now. So I think the fastest, the simplest way is mm-hmm. There's so many self-publishing tools out there. So you might mm-hmm. want to do an ebook. You might want to do an audio book. You might want to do an online course. Um, you know, there's platforms out there that literally give you all the tools to build. So, for instance, Coursera or you know Udemy. I'm just giving you some examples for courses. Uh, Amazon now it's easy to create an ebook. Like literally, you can, you know, it's still work, but in terms of publishing, you could self-publish. Um, so that's one way um, you can do. Um, mm. Really explore these self-publishing tools. Yeah. So it's explore self-publishing tool in order to promote your, what you are doing. Yeah. Okay. So you see, that is one way to monetize your personal brain after you uh, make sure that you become quite popular in certain industry. Yes. And I wouldn't really, if, and again, this is just my opinion. There's different people might have a different view. If Mm -hmm. I were you, I would really look at building a community first Mm -hmm. and then really building an authority and then focus on monetizing. Don't try to make money. Don't obsess about the money part initially. Mm -hmm. So if you're still green with your personal brand, have another job, have another means of making income and then really think about it. Mm, I see. So uh, approach uh, building that community what giving first. Yes. Instead of monetizing it first. Yes. See, and then you're going to cultivate from that community later. Yes. Okay. Uh, hi, Ash. I think that uh, with these information, it is really powerful for us. So, uh, I, up to now, uh, we still, maybe our viewers, they still don't have any questions yet to ask for, for the information because we already provided the foundation of building personal brain. So I feel that I'm thankful for your participation today in order to share Thank with you. us about personal brain. No, happy Thank to be see. here. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Mr. Ash. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.